Good morning. Good morning. It's Wednesday. Another beautiful Wednesday. And today we are going to be talking about going pro. Going pro. You see my t-shirt here? It says, I'm a world changing author. I don't see, I don't know if you can see it. There you go. <laughs> I'm a world changing author. And I truly believe authors change the world. And I'm going to tell you why I believe authors change the world. Authors change the world because authors change the mindsets, the beliefs, and the thinking of people. I want you to think about the, 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 the world changers of the world, right? Uh, let's think about Martin Luther King. Let's think about uh, Abraham Lincoln. Let's think about Mahatma Gandhi. Let's think about... Uh, I don't care who you who you uh, can think of, who have changed the world, who have changed the way we do things in this earth, and that person's thinking, and that person's belief systems were all impacted by books they've read. So who changed the world? Of course that person, of course Martin Luther King and and the people in the civil rights movement, not just Martin Luther King, because Martin Luther King was the voice, but not the, the execution. The people had to go out. But the people who read the books and took action on what they read changed the world. But the people who wrote those books changed the world. I believe that we are all connected in the fabric of humanity, meaning just like this shirt is made up of thread. If I take one piece of thread and I continue to pull that thread, I can unravel this entire shirt. And even though there are 8 billion people on this planet, we are all connected. Somehow, what I do impacts you. What you do impacts another person. And so you may not see how your impact changes the world, how that domino effect of your book can change the world, can change the way a community interacts. That community can change the way the city interacts. The city can change the way the state interacts. The state can, ch can change the way the country, the country can change the way the world interacts. So we changed the world, but the only way we're going to get to that point is we have to go pro. So what do I mean by that? When I first started TrueVine, I was talking about this yesterday, but when I first started TrueVine, I, it was a part-time gig for me. It was something to make a little extra money on the side. I didn't realize it you know, 20 years down the road that I would have uh, been publishing books for people around the world. I didn't realize that Truvine would be the only consistent career path that I loved, that gave me fulfillment. I didn't realize that Truvine was my purpose because I had a side gig mentality about Truvine. It was something to make a little money on the side. And with that side gig mentality, I was more passive about the success of Truvine. And a lot of authors are dealing with that same passive mentality. You have a side gig, you have an amateur mentality about your book. Now this applies to those who really want to go to the next level with your with your book. Right? This applies to those who really want to take your book to a level where it creates a lifestyle for you. As you always hear me say, a lifestyle of wealth, freedom, and fulfillment. So when you're passive and you have an amateur mentality, what you tend to do is you get to it when you get to it. I'll post about my book, um, you know, and if I don't, that's fine. I'll 
Tell people about my book if it comes up. I won't initiate conversations about my book. I won't I won't tell people, hey, my name is Tim Bond. I'm an author. I've written this book or I've written so many books. I just say, hey, I'm Tim Bond. How are you? I won't post about my book on social media because I don't want to feel too pushy. I don't want people to feel like I'm always talking about my book. That's an amateur mentality. And once I, I was in an interview and I was asked, I was asked by the, um, the interviewer, what is one of the biggest problems you see with authors? And my answer was, the biggest problem I see with authors is that authors don't realize that they are now professionals. They don't take the professional mentality concerning their books. And so what we're going to talk about today is how do you go pro? How do you go pro? If you really want to make money with your book, if you want really want to develop a, a platform where you can become a business, right? Take Go from book to business, then you've got to go pro. So the first thing you have to do is you got to step out of your comfort zone. That's the biggest problem with going pro. Most people are afraid. They have fear. And they deal with fear by staying in an amateur mindset, right? Because that's a choice. You choose that. They deal with fear by saying, oh, if it's not perfect, then I'm not going to do it. So I'm not going to get on social media. I'm not going to go live. I'm not going to, uh, you know, uh, post anything on social media because I want it to be perfect. I want my background to be perfect. I want, I want, uh, I, I need a, a banner behind me. I need a logo. I need all of these things. But you got to step outside of your comfort zone and do it anyway. Being courageous is not being a person who has no fear. Being courageous is being someone who does it in, in spite of the fear. So go pro. Don't listen to your feelings. Don't listen to your feelings. Focus on your vision. What do you want to accomplish and what steps does it take to accomplish that vision? Going pro means stepping out of your comfort zone. And then it means executing. Going pro means you execute. If you have an idea, you execute. I have a coach who talks about failing fast. You know, we've all heard the term fail forward. But have you thought about failing fast? The faster you fail, the faster you learn. So we get on here, we, we, uh, we try out a marketing strategy, and then we learn from it. If people don't respond, you learn. No, that's not the way. If people do respond... Then you learn, okay, we got something here. Let's tweak it. Let's work it. Let's fix it until people are responding. So go pro. Step out of your comfort zone. Execute. And you got to execute on a regular basis. You execute. The third part of going pro is working on a schedule. You don't go to work whenever you want to, right? Let's think about this. Let's think about how your job is pro. Your job pays you every day to come in and work a schedule and do the same actions over and over and over, right? And you go in every day and you do the same actions over and over and over even when you don't have success that day you do the same actions over and over and over going pro with your book means that you do something daily on a scheduled basis 
over and over and over until you get the results. Of course you're going to strategize. Of course you're not doing random things that, that have nothing to do with anything. You're going to strategize and, and do those things that move you forward. But you do them consistently. So one of the reasons I'm on here every day now is because I'm moving myself into my vision. I'm moving myself into a place of public speaking, a place of training, a place of providing value to you, my, my clients, to, to people who are writing books, who want to succeed in books, who want to turn their books into a lifestyle of wealth, freedom, and fulfillment. And this is one of the steps it takes. And so I have to do it over and over and over. Right? I have to work on a schedule. You have to work on a schedule if you're going to be successful in this business. One of the myths of the book publishing world, which I really want to dispel. I want to dispel this myth, not to discourage you, but I want to dispel this myth because you need to understand books are not money makers. I'm going to just let that sit. I know you saw some of these great book writers, you know, and they're making millions and millions, but you need to understand the reason they're making millions and millions is because they have done something to generate an audience of people who will buy their book. They are not obscure. They already have thousands upon thousands, hundreds of thousands, if not millions of people who have bought into their platform. And that's why their books are selling millions. 95% of books published by traditional publishers, the big guys, the big publishers, 95% of those books fail to make any money. Only 5% of books make money. And even those books, I need you to understand this. Even those books, when you see somebody who's a New York Times bestseller, Wall Street Journal bestseller, right? Let me tell you the trick. Let me, let me, let me hit you on game, okay? These publishers have a list of people set up to buy their books. They send this book out for 99 cents to this list of people. This list of people will buy the book for 99 cents. Let's say it's 20,000 or 50,000 people. So 50,000 people buy the book or 20,000 people buy the book for 99 cents. The book is now a bestseller. Okay? All right. Now, I want you to think about this. Let's say you sell your own book and you generate your own database with thousands of people. You sell your book for $20 and you sell it to a thousand people. You've made $20,000. Now, do you want the status of, uh, do you want the status of, of having a, a name or do you want the money, right? That's, that's my question. Do you want the money or do you want the, the name as bestseller? To me, it's more beneficial as an author to build your business, to build your platform, and the more people that you add to your platform, the more money you can make. But I went off, I went off on that, but you've got to work your schedule. You've got to do something daily, every day, to promote and push your brand, your book, your platform. Okay? So listen, go pro. If you want to succeed in this business, you have to kill the amateur mentality. It's not a side gig. I get it. Maybe you work full time. Maybe you work full time. That's okay. Going pro doesn't mean you're, you're spending eight hours if you work a full time job. It doesn't mean you spend eight hours 
but it does mean consistently you do something to promote and push your book. If it's every uh, day, if it's uh, every other day, but you're doing something to push your book, get on social media, take pictures, get on social media, uh, do do lives, send out press releases to pap- newspapers, send out, um, I'm sorry, somebody's in my driveway, but send out press releases, send out uh, 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 requests for speaking engagements, do something on a regular basis to promote your book. Go pro, and I, you guys have a wonderful day. Listen, call me if you need help. You all hear my dog going crazy. If you need help in figuring out how to turn your book into a lifestyle of wealth, uh, freedom, and fulfillment, then I want you to call me and I want to help you. Y'all have a wonderful day. God bless.